Welcome to the Design Knit video learning series. In this tutorial, we will be exploring the interactive knitting section and how we can use this valuable section to help us with the shaping of a garment. All the instructions for the shaping are given line by line for us in this section as we knit, significantly decreasing the time that would be used to follow printed charts as well as increasing the accuracy of the instructions to the knitting. For our first garment, we'll be knitting the shaping only for a solid color sweater for a child. This is a child's top that comes with the Design and Knit Stitch Pattern program. When we first go into the section in Interactive Knitting, it asks us do we want to knit a shape file or a stitch pattern. And we want to pick the child's top, OK. Next, it's going to ask us what piece do we want to knit and we want to knit the right sleeve okay and then it's asking us integrated with a stitch pattern or shaping only and we don't have this integrated with a stitch pattern we're just going to use shaping only because it's going to be a solid piece and we want to knit with the carriage starting on the right side machine knitting okay to continue so this is the carriages on the right we have it says C ready for instructions for casting on. Let's do that right now. It says cast on left needle 41 to right needle 41. Knit the welt if any or ribbing. Knit the ribbing or welt with the carriage at the right. Set the row counter to zero and then select OK. This is gonna is trying to synchronize with my knitting machine, which is not connected to the computer right now. I'm going to use the arrow keys on my keyboard to do the knitting. So normally I would select go and this would synchronize the carriage. It's saying that it, it can't find it which is okay. And so I'm going to up arrow one and I've knit my first row from right to left and the carriage as I pass my carriage across the knitting bed this carriage on the screen will jump over to show that you've knit the one single row as you've done on your knitting machine. It says here I have seven rows until I need to do something or be concerned about changes. So let's knit our seven rows. And indeed this is a change. Increase one stitch at the right, increase one stitch at the left. Now we should have, we had cast on 41, now we have left needle 42, right needle 42. This is our garment instructions notation that we would see on a printout every, at a row 8, increase one stitch every eight rows nine times. And we're at row 8, and so doing the same thing on the other side. And the next set of instructions are at row 80, increase one stitch every nine rows seven times. So we're going to knit, it's saying now seven more rows. And now it's saying increase one stitch at the right, one street stitch at the left. We can turn on some of our sounds. Let's turn the spe speech on. We can have little tunes. Let's end up another seven rows. This is a bell. So we've already knit 40 rows, and this is very easy because we. Here's another eight rows that we've just knit. Now we've gotten up to answer the doorbell and we've come back to our knitting and the question is did we do that increase that we needed to do right here or not and we can look here left needle 47 right needle 47 and if you have 46 on your machine then you know that you need to do the one increase. So I'm going to continue shaping. Let me turn all the sounds off for a minute so we can knit quickly. I'm going to go up to 80 and it's increase one stitch at the right, increase one stitch at the left, but the instructions now are at row 80, increase one stitch every row, every nine rows seven times. And so the instructions have changed to slightly different from eight rows to nine rows. And we'll keep knitting until we get all the way up to the top. And it'll say cast off the remainder in whatever way you like to take it off on waist yarn or bind it off or take it on a garter bar the choice is yours. The next thing that we need to do is we need to say shaping file select piece 
and let's knit the front okay shaping only and here we have our front and it says here cast on left needle 61 to right needle 61 knit 22 rows of well this is five centimeters this is the ribbing if necessary put an additional row to put your carriage on the right set the row counter to zero and select OK and it's not connecting to my knitting machine because I don't have the cable connected right now I need to knit 86 rows until I need to do something and because this was a standard garment shaping file it knows that I need to set a marker at here and here for the armhole marker and so this is remember this for us and now we have 53 rows so we have to do something and what's going to happen is, is we're going to knit up as we're knitting closer we can see this is dark and this is light so we're going to get up to this row here and it's saying hold left needle 10 that's right here to right needle 61 which is right here and so all of this is either you're going to take this off on waist yarn or bind it off and this is also in hold so now we're only knitting on this side and it's telling me decrease four stitches at the right right here decrease three stitches at the right this is our neckline shaping now we're getting into our shoulder shaping cast off the remainder and select ready and our ready light says Place the carriage at the left, pick up right needle 11 to right needle 61, set row counter to 141. And we're going to do all of that. Our row counter has been reset. Now this part's already been taken off and it's light. This is our piece as we're currently knitting this one. It's saying decrease four stitches at the left, decreases three stitches at the left. This is matching the shaping on this side. It keeps going up as until we get to the shoulder shaping and we finally get to the top cast off this piece and we would say select piece and we would continue for the rest of the pieces that was easy designing it kept track of all the directions instructions for us if we had selected options tensions and changed this width of the 40 stitches we say we figured it out to be 15 centimeters instead of 12 and this was going to be 20 centimeters instead of 15 for the height in rows designing it will automatically calculate out stitches and rows per 10 centimeters for me okay save the changes yes and now it's saying cast on row left needle 52 to right needle 52 and before we had 41 and 41 so design it has already automatically figured out all the instructions for me for this garment in case I need to save change my tension so interactive knitting saves you lots of time, give you a more accurately knit shape as it knits along with you in the screen. This becomes even more useful when we need to integrate a stitch pattern with a shape and we want to follow along all these shaping changes and color changes and cable crosses, etc. at the same time. So this is an invaluable section of the program. Thank you.